Hi there, in this video I will talk about unplanned depreciation of Oracle Cloud Assets. So let's start to talk about overview of the unplanned depreciation. Unplanned depreciation you can use it to handle unusual accounting situations in which you need to adjust NBV as a net book value, accumulate depreciation amount for an assets without affecting its cost. For entering unplanned depreciation amount by assets in either corporate asset book or tax book for any current period during the useful life of an asset. In the period an asset is added, assets doesn't track unplanned depreciation as an adjustment to transactions. Once you complete unplanned depreciation, Oracle assets immediately updates the year to date and life to date depreciation the net book value of the assets you can also change the depreciation method after entering unplanned depreciation so unplanned it's need to adjust the book value accumulated depreciations you can put in two ways either increase or decrease either in positive sign or negative sign we will see it later. Unplanned depreciation expense. When you enter an unplanned depreciation expense, the unplanned depreciation expense you enter must not exceed the current net book value of the assets. And also you can enter multiple unplanned depreciation amount, negative, positive, in a single period as long as the net amount doesn't exceed the current NBV of the assets. It's possible to enter unplanned amount to back out depreciation taken in prior periods, including previously entered unplanned depreciation amount. So you can enter multiple unplanned depreciation for the same period, either negative or positive. Assets use unplanned depreciation amount in addition to regular depreciation to calculate the depreciation for the period in which you entered the unplanned depreciation. For example, if we have one asset, the depreciation amount for these assets per period, for example, $100. And in this, in one of period, you make unplanned depreciation either by positive or negative. For example, you added on planet positive 20. So the total depreciation of this period of these assets, it will be 100, which is the regular depreciation amount plus the unplanned depreciation, which you put it as a positive 20. And the same case or the same way as well in, if you added in negative, it will be 100 minus 20 for example so it will be 80 and we will see it later when you create journal entries for the GL as it's posts or posts the expense due to unplanned depreciation to the selected amount selected am account sorry means that during you make unplanned depreciation the system will ask you what is the count of the unplanned depreciation because once you complete the unplanned depreciation, the system will create journals, which is debit and the credit. So it depends on the, the sign, either positive or negative, you will find two uh, accounts. Unplanned depreciation account or expense and accumulated depreciation. And we will see it later. Is there any restrictions? Yes, for unplanned depreciation. When you enter an unplanned depreciation, you have to keep in mind following restrictions. Expensed adjustment. You cannot perform expensed adjustment to assets for which you have previously entered unplanned depreciation. And you already have since amortized the amount. You can, however, perform expensed adjustment to the assets until you choose to amortize the unplanned depreciation amount. Assets shared between balancing segments. You cannot enter unplanned depreciation for assets shared between balancing segments. In other words, you cannot allocate unplanned depreciation amounts to specific distribution of an assets 
as it's posted to the unplanned depreciation expense only to the depreciation expense account you enter. Table based depreciation methods, as you know, that there are a lot of depreciation methods. One of them is table based. You cannot enter unplanned depreciation for assets that use table based depreciation. If you need to enter unplanned depreciation for assets that depreciate using table based method, you must first what change depreciation method, then make your unplanned depreciation. Period, period retirement, you cannot perform period, period retirement to assets with unplanned depreciation. So let's get into uh, application to do, for example, one unplanned depreciation. After that, we will check the accounting entries. I'm logged log to Oracle, go to fix assets. We can go to assets or inquire assets to search for take one of our assets to this is assets inquiry we can put the book and try to search system will ask me for example whatever if we have these assets as you see we can take it copy go to Darwin this is the current cost in BV year to the depreciation so you can add it or you can uh, you can put it unplanned in positive or negative or whatever we can check another one for example this one go to that one for example this one as you see here we can take it copy and we can go to down to take this as screenshot so I can take it screenshot this is our assets as you see here that this is the current cost 10,000 salvage value recoverable year to date and the depreciation reserved which is accumulated depreciation now in case of I going to uh, do uh, unplanned either negative or positive so i can for example added uh, 100 so let's go to make our unplanned so go to assets and from the tasks on the right side just adjust assets put the asset number search just highlight it go to actions enter unplanned depreciation unplanned here, as I told you, you can enter either positive or negative. So I will put positive amount 100. This is a depreciation expense account, which will be uh, for unplanned depreciation. In case of you need to amortize, you can amortize. But once you amortize the assets, you cannot unamortize it later. That's it, that's it. You have to enter the reasons. I don't know if it, there are any lookup for this reason to allow you to enter a lot of reasons or not, but you can try to search for this. That's it, that's it. Just submit. It's just make like validations that amount depreciation expense is there. Reason is optional, is up to you, but just to categorize in the future if you if the system allow you to enter a lot of reasons here, so it will be better to uh, allow the users to enter the reasons during make on planet either in negative or in positive amount. Just I need to enter some account for example again to submit. This is done. After done, you have to run depreciation, but without it close the period. Because as you know here you have to uh, you have two options either calculate depreciation without it close period or close period. It means that once the system 
finished or completed calculate depreciation for our period system will close it direct so I will run without close so it's submitted go to monitor process to check the status until it's complete normal error warning you have to come back to the same assets it's already calculated depreciation now if you go to uh, come back to the assets um, assets inquiry just put your asset number here search there are a lot of tabs of assets and details just click depreciation you will find that depreciation adjustment amount our unplanned depreciation amount is 100 but in case of you need to check the view accounting the system will ask you to have to create account so I will come back again to monitor process and try to create accounting of our module uh, fixed assets just create accounting and okay okay select the module what is your ledger categories uh, period final detail whatever and submit just click refresh until the status is again succeeded once it's succeeded or completed with successfully you can come back to the same assets and try to click on view accounting so the system will give you the accounting entries of your unplanned depreciation so again in the same period until you close it you can enter multiple unplanned depreciation multiple positive amount multiple negative amount is it up to your business case once uh, it's closed again the, for the next period you can again do the same so there is no restrictions for how many time I can enter the unplanned for the same assets or a group of assets or whatever but you have to take care of the depreciation method of the assets because for the table paste you cannot enter unplanned depreciation all of them now is completed succeeded just transfer budget whatever this is not go to down there is one still running I can increase it so now it's complete successful so I can still execution report to give you if there are any exceptions or whatever but now you can come back to the assets inquiry and search by your assets number and check the accounting entries of the home planet so I will come back to the assets inquiry the same way go to and put your assets number search this is our assets you can come down again to change the depreciation this is our April and this is on our unplanned amount depreciation which is 100 so either you can come to the transactions also you can put your assets search you will find there is one adjustment in April this adjustment you can click on in 100 this is the reason of the unplanned depreciation this is accounting of unplanned depreciation to check the uh, accounting entries just click OK here you can see the class because you put it depreciation in positive so is it debited and accumulate depreciation is credit in case of you put unplanned in negative so the unplanned depreciation account will be credit and the accumulated depreciation will be uh, debit so done this is the accounting entries which is unplanned the transaction type of the unplanned depreciation is adjustment either in negative or positive again if you come back to the assets just go to financial you will find here depreciation reserve increased by 100 if you see here this is 916 here 1016 means it's added or increased by 100 if you go to depreciation you will find that 
the normal depreciation or regular depreciation amount is 81 and you entered the unplanned depreciation in positive 100 so the total amount or the total uh, depreciation amount of this asset in this period will be this regular depreciation amount plus depreciation adjustment or unplanned depreciation amount in case of you entered in negative so this minus this will be give you the total amount which will be the total or total depreciation amount of these assets in this period mm, that's it yes also for massive changes you cannot perform massive changes to assets with unplanned depreciation amount this is also one of our restrictions thanks for watching good luck